Hey guys, I'm doing a review today on a product that I um, used. It's, um, there are these products out that a lot of people use that are the um, conditioning hair dyes. They're not like the um, things that you buy at the Sally's or Walmart's or Target or anything that are like your kits that you have the steps one, two, and three and you mix them together or anything. They're just a jar of a conditioning dye. And it's one step, you put your hand in, you put it all over, blah. So I got, and I've done them before and I've had good, good luck with another brand that I've used. Hold on a second, I gotta wipe this off because um, this isn't, unfortunately this product I wasn't too happy with. I didn't, the color is good. I mean, I'm not unpleased with the color. Um, I could have left it in and went a darker purple. I could have, but the issues that I had along the way caused me not to leave it in longer, and I'll tell you why. This is called Punky Color. Um, it's a small tube, but or a uh, jar, but I only paid like nine bucks for it, and I got it at Walmart. So, and it's, uh, it's purple. So I thought I'd try it because I've used um, the Overtone brand before and had really good luck. Um, this is the last color that I used, the Extreme Red in the Overtone, but um, it's a bit more. It's like uh, 30 or $40 for this jar, but you can see the differences in the sizes. So, and um, so I thought I would try this. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's just like a, a paste, kind of. Okay, so I did what the instructions said. I put the Vaseline across the top, just like I do with all the others. And uh, yeah, this stuff is uh, a nightmare, pretty much. Um, I'll show pictures at the end. Uh, it stained my bathtub. Um, I did get it clean with um, this. This is the only thing I use, the Kaboom, because I have asthma and I can't use chemicals, but chem other chemicals don't work anyway. This is a chemical, yes, but uh, this works really good and uh, it takes stuff off, but it's, it, was, it was literally stained. It stained my shower. It not only stained my shower, it stained my face when it was rinsing, it stained my hands, <laughs> which, okay, in the shower, it does say on every, it didn't say on this, but it does say on your regular um, hair dyes when you do your hair to use gloves. I never do, it always washes off, no problems. Uh, yeah, this turned my hands purple and would not come off. Not only did it turn my hands purple, you cannot Put gloves on your butt. You cannot put gloves on your face. You cannot put gloves on your feet. Um, my whole body basically was purple. I have pictures of my legs. It kind of looks sunburned. Um, the bottom sort of of my feet are purple. I have pictures of that. Um, uh, yeah, it wasn't good. But I, <laughs> this product is remarkable. This is my Garnier Meissler water. I use it almost every day and I don't use it because I don't wear a lot of makeup. So I don't necessarily use it for makeup removal, but I do use it to cleanse my face. And uh, you don't have to wash it off. You put it on, it stays. You just leave it on. You don't have to wash it off. This took it off the palms of my hands. My hands are clean now. They were purple. You will see that in the pictures. Um, I'm not going to worry about the palms of my feet for now. I'm going to see how long, or the edges of my feet. I'm going to see how long it takes for it to wear off first. Um, I usually put lotion on my feet, so when I do that, maybe some of it will come off and my, the lotion will turn purple. Who knows? But we'll see. Um, what wouldn't come off on my hands was my nails. They were purple. The beds were purple. The 
um, edges were purple. So I used a non, my non-acetone um, nail polish remover and it took it off. I don't know if an ass, you know, I used a non-acetone and it worked. Um, so I can't for myself recommend this because of how much um, issues I had, I guess you could say, or how difficult it was to to get a result from this and clean up after it and, and everything. And uh, I'm gonna run around with a purple butt and a purple back for days. I don't even know how long it's gonna take for that to fade. I literally stood in the shower and it took longer to rinse my hair clean than it did to leave it on my hair to do it, okay? It, it took that long. And it still never really ran completely uh, clear water. I, I just, I think for now on, I think I'm gonna stick with my overtone. I don't have any issues when I use my overtone. Um, I just wanted to try something different and um, knowing me, if I find something else, I will try it because I do try it, but uh, I like to get the overtone. It's You can get it online, um, overtone.com, I believe is the website. Um, I'll, I'll hashtag it, of course, and uh, you should be able to find it that way, but uh, their purple, I love the purple. It lasts in my hair for a long time. It lasts a lot longer than the reds even, and I'm a redhead. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of my review on the punky color. Not really happy with it. Don't think I'll buy it again. No, I won't buy it again. I can, I, I'm not going to buy it again. And I, I just think if, if you want to go through all that pain or, <laughs> trouble, then go for it. Go for it. Because the end result is not that bad. I, I don't, I mean, I like it. And I think if I had left it in longer, it would come out more purple, purple, um, more like the color on the lid, which is really what I wanted because that's the color I get when I do the overtone. But once I started seeing my bathtub stain and my hands were staining and it not coming off and, and I saw my legs were staining, I was freaking out. I'm like, what the heck's going on here? I'm, I'm getting this shit off. So anyway, uh, that's what I did. But um, yeah, that's that's my review of that. So uh, if anybody else has used that product or the Overtone even, just let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see how everybody else reacts to it. Okay? Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye.